This is a rarity. This is something I bet most folks watching this probably haven't heard of. It's by a company called Taxa Outdoors, and this is the Tiger Moth series. And it's kind of what I call a, a base camper. It's very much geared for that sort of a uh, little more rugged, off-grid, dry camping sort of usage. And it is built like an absolute truck. It's a very specialized product. They're not trying to be the biggest company out there. They're trying to really cater to a specific market. And I think they do that very well. So this is most definitely not going to be for most people. But for those folks who are trying to like, you know, take your bikes, your kayaks, get off the grid, go out in the woods for a little bit, the desert, the whatever, this is definitely a, a sweet, sweet option for you. I am not an expert on these. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert. That being said, I know enough about them that I think I can give you the general idea. It really kind of follows along the same lines as the... Uh, some of the Geo Pros, that like the 12RK, the 12SRK that we would offer here at Halid RV, and it's in uh, like near flawless condition. The only reason it's here is uh, the folks had a growing family, and it was just getting a little tight inside. And in case you're curious what you can tow with, that's actually uh, them with their white Jeep right there. Jeep Rubicon was the one hauling this around. So uh, if I look at the title weight on this, it says 990 pounds. But that was the listing weight on these when they did have an all-aluminum skeleton. Since then, Taxa has started using a lot of uh, steel reinforcement for higher structural integrity purposes. And I, I'm going to estimate then that the weight of this is about 1,100 pounds because this is not the aluminum generation. You can see up top here, uh, you've got the, uh, like, uh, cargo pod mount bike rack mount any you know kayak mount things like that now normally i would start my tour inside guys but there's not much inside so we'll get there very quickly we do have all led exterior lights which is sharp you have a 300 pound rated front cargo tray and if you know if i back up here like one of our sales guys up front uh, being a little more accustomed to the traditional RVs that you see every day, not a specialized thing like this, he says, you know, that axle's kind of really far forward, you know? And that's one of the reasons I have the jacks down in the back. Don't try to get in this thing without the jacks down. You will pop the front end right up. It is very, very lightweight. And that axle's really on almost a central balance point. But the reason is, they expect you to put a bunch of cargo on the front. They don't expect you to take this thing empty as it sets currently. And that is, that's not like a battery box on the front. Uh, although I guess you could use it for that, but uh, it's just a, like a general enclosed cargo kind of compartment if you want to use it for that sort of purpose. I like the uh, wheel on this front jack as well, so it's very easy, very portable to, to move around. I tell you what, guys, if you look at this thing with its small body size and low exterior height, I know that there are a lot of people. I hear this all the time, like, yeah, well, I live in an association. They won't let me have a trailer parked outside because of rules. Well, this little thing, you could park this in a garage. It's not really taller than most trucks or anything like that. Now, the screen room on the back is poking up a little bit. In theory, that could actually be removed, the awning screen room. It's only five feet wide also. So you can see around it very easily. Um, you know, very handy for folks who are just very small vehicle, uh, or who have a small vehicle or who are very lightweight towing conscious. You can see how the spare tire is a full legit replacement tire, and it's not like a common little trailer tire. That is a bigger, heavier, thicker uh, rated off-road style tire. Now, the skin on this is different. This has laminated walls and roof but it has an aluminum skin. It's not a fiberglass skin. And it is uh, given a Kynar painted coating. And I had to look up what that was. I was not aware of that until I saw this thing come in and I did some learning on it. And basically guys, it's kind of, it's very similar to like an automotive paint. It is just very heavily weather and UV resistant. This thing is just a big old metal beast and it's gonna stay just the way that it is. Now being, you know, more off-grid friendly. You do have things like a simple side mount solar prep plug here. Now the side mount air conditioner, this can actually be easily removed. That whole silver mount that you see right there, basically the whole thing just unscrews and the European style window uh, that would cover that is also inside the RV under one of the benches that we'll see. So if you don't care about the air conditioner and you are just really going off grid, you can just replace that and put a window there to get better airflow. Now your tires are not weather checked, they're not oddly worn, there's none of that nonsense. Looks like they're even nitro filled. And I like these handy little, uh, these are actual steps out here. These are rated so that if you want to step on it to get up here, to get to your stuff, you really can. Um, I don't recommend you step on the fender well. That being 
things that it looks like it ha some people have, and it really is no worse for the wear. You see, you've got, uh, now there's no, like, water system inside the RV. That little, uh, you know, army-style jug on the back, that's really about all you're going to get in the way of water. All the lights are LED. The lights are minimal, but they're effective because the size is minimal. Now, there is a uh, screen room for that rear awning that pops out there, so if you are trying to get away from the bugs, you can. And uh, speaking of screen rooms, this actually comes with a, uh, a few screen rooms to cover, like the, uh, this side folding wing flap of a door as well. And I think that's probably one of the things that gave it its name when this thing is opened up. It has sort of like an interesting insect look to it. So there's a screen room for that, you know, flux capacitor DeLorean style flip up door that we have here. Again, if you are off grid where there is no air conditioning, you are going to be good to go and right as rain. And remember that you do have one of those European style windows in there. It, let me get up close while I talk about it when I can show it. So the whole window tilts open, but you notice you do have a shade built in here as well. So you can close this off for privacy. You can open it for airflow, or you could literally just open up the wall of the camper and really get some airflow going on in here. Um, the uh, This is what we're going to call the kitchen, because uh, that's what they call it. They call it a slide-out kitchen. It is mostly just a uh, storage box with some organizers in it, but man, I tell you what, you want to pack this thing full of the various canned goods and things you need, things that are not going to spoil, maybe ready to eat kind of stuff you can. Now this top thing I'm, I'm using, uh, I have in my hand right here, you can kind of organize, or use this in a couple different ways. You can close that off to use it as counter space. You see the, the resin top cutting board style thing here? Same thing. You can actually get right under here and there's storage under that as well. Now once we go up from here, this, uh, it, it, I mean the construction of this is very impressive. This is small. And I tell you what, they are not cheap. These are not inexpensive. These are actually pretty expensive campers considering no more than you're getting. But it's because they're um, about as close to fail-proof as I think something's going to get. So you're looking at it, and there's not much to it. It's just here's the inside of those laminated walls and roof, but you can see all the structural reinforcement and integrity here. It's all this heavy-duty angle iron that you're seeing around. Uh, that's not technically exactly what it is, but I think people will know what that means and get close enough to it. Up front, uh, you've got your headboard sort of shelf area, handy little built-in cup holder. Uh, the big rectangle black box, that's going to be your like fuse box. You've got four sets of household outlets next to that. Several 12-volt plugs for when you're off-grid, a battery disconnect uh, to keep your battery topped off. And then you've just got some nice seating areas. Now under the uh, seating areas, there is storage. That's where the power cord and that's where all those screen rooms that I've mentioned are stored as well. But where do you sleep? Well, if it's just one of you, frankly, you can just sleep on that left bench right there and be good to go. But if there's two or more of you, then this actually slides open in a classic gaucho style. We'll look at that in just a moment, but I wanna point something out here. The wood that you're looking at, it is a really high grade micro laminated plywood and it is marine grade. So usually the plywood that you see used in the RV industry is just traditional raw plywood. This is a heavily treated marine grade plywood. This is extremely expensive, high quality stuff that is incredibly rugged. And basically guys, you have to really, really go out of your way to screw this camper up. Um, that being said, let's take a look at the bed and then I think we're pretty much good, uh, good to go. And there you have it. <laughs> That's all there really is to it. There's room there for a couple people, and again, these people had, uh, you know, the two of them, a couple kids, they were trying to do tents and everything, and it just wasn't working out, so they're swapping it out for a, a Winnebago uh, mini drop that we had here at Halet RV. It gave them a bathroom, it gave them a little bit more space, it just gave them the things that they needed to be comfortable as a family. But what that means, guys, is you've got a very hard to find, like, these are not usually found in the used RV market. People don't buy these with the intention of trading them out, because they are a very significant upfront investment. There's not a whole lot else that's really like them. Like I said, if you kind of like the idea of this, um, you can take a look at the Rockwood Geo Pro things that are very cool in their own respect. We have those here at Halet RV, but I think someone's going to someone's gonna come from a long way across the country to get a deal on one of these, because if you look at the price of new versus what we have on this used, you're not going to be disappointed. So with that, give us a call. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.